Ho, ho, holy crap, we are through to the big two five. It is Christmas Day. I hope everyone ha is having a fantastic Christmas. I hope, you know, you, you're getting all the presents you've asked Santa for, or you're chilling with family, or both, or neither. Uh, no, I don't hope you're having, you know what I mean. Anyway, today is the final day of the imminent Christmas advent calendar. Has it been annoying enough yet? If not, strap in, because we've got an extra long episode today. So, I'm going to move this to the side, and we're going to get in to the very last part of this Pokemon advent calendar. And it's day 25, and by virtue of being the bottom of this box, the bottom's kind of popped out a bit already. Uh, thankfully, though, the rest of it has held in place, so... It is a booster pack! Alright! And it is of Brilliant Stars! Now, before I open this, however, I am going to rummage around in the guts of this, because if you remember, there is a promo card that went missing from, like, one of these, where I tried to pull it out, but it fell down here. So, I'm going to open this up and have a look for it. I'll be right back. Alright, so this is what the inside of the calendar looks like, and for those eagle-eyed viewers out there, you will notice there is indeed a card stuck here. Uh, so, we're going to view it together. Are you ready? It's horribly warped. It is a hollow Lapras. That's very cute. I'm going to go sleeve this quickly. Alright, I've sleeved it, and yet again, it will be going under a very heavy book. Uh, I've also put this in the back room there. Unfortunately, it doesn't really stay together. But we are going to open our final pack, Brilliant Stars. Now, in terms of packs from this calendar, we have pulled some hollows. I think two, maybe three hollows. That has been the highlight of the calendar so far. Now, I'm not saying that we've had really bad luck, but we do appear to have had very bad luck. Anyway, I'm going to put the code card to the side. Will we end on something cool? We've got two chances here. We could get a trainer gallery or we could get, you know, a V or something. So we're going to begin with a steel energy. We've got a choice belt, a pachirisu, a sigilif. Yo, that's really cool. I've not seen that Sigilif card, actually. I really like Sigilif. It's so strange. We've got a Corefish. Oh, oh wait, no. I have seen that Sork, sorry. A Cherubi. A Clefairy. I think it's the one after next. Right, okay. So you've got Carablast. The next one could be something hype. It's a Reverse Holo Escavalier. I mean, you know, not... I'm sure there's Escavalier fans out there. Right. The last pack. Will this will this all have been worth it with this final pull? It's a non-hollow Mewtwo, so make of that what you will. Um, well, let's move over to the box. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in the background, actually. So we've got two things left. They are both Pokemon packs, I do believe. So I'm going to toss them around and we'll begin with this Silver Tempest. I'm going to move that to the side. So we've got a bit of Pokemon in the background as well. We've got Lapras and Delibird. Uh, two very cute seasonal... Po well, actually no, Lap Lapras isn't seasonal at all. Delibird kind of is. Also happy to see that Delibird did get a new sort of form, I guess, is you'd call it, a paradox form. In the new Pokemon. Sorry if that's a spoiler, I won't say any more. Anyway, I'm going to say fire. Nope, it's electric energy. Alright, let's begin with Brandon. We've got Altaria. Hey, Lance again, my dude. We've got Imolga. Oh, nice. It's a Meditite. I haven't seen a Meditite in ages in terms of sets. Uh, we've got a Durant. A Ralts. A Fletchling. Right, so next up could be... Uh, it is a Reverse Sandile. Okay, hard to see the Reverse, because it just looks like it's reflecting my light. Will we end on something... Ooh, okay! Hey, we've got a Hollow Crobat. That's kind of cool. I, I like that design, actually. That's, uh, that's very nice. Somehow, even more hype than the special Pokemon card calendar. But hey... That's how it goes. 
So, we've got one final pack. It is going to be, I think, another Silver Tempest, right? Uh, yeah, it is. And it's got Lugia on the front. Now, are we going to end on a Christmas miracle? It's the big day. Old Saint Nick has been around the world. He's dropped off presents. He's drunk an incredible amount of sherry and eaten Christmas cake. And the reindeers have eaten several thousand carrots by now, I imagine, each. Uh, will, will this be one of Santa's miracles. Has he snuck into my house late at night and swapped out a pack to be a really cool hype pack? Didn't even guess the energy, because I'm that excited. Let's go, it is Clang. You know, I, I'm pretty sure we pulled two Kling Clangs and I have not seen that Clang yet. We've got a Claydon, a Worker, she is popping up quite a bit. Got a Holucha, a Toga de Mara. that's the first, that is, yeah, it looks in pain. I hope it's okay. We've got a Petalil. Very cute. A Pikachu. I don't think I've seen that Pikachu. Somehow I haven't seen a Pikachu from this set yet. We've got Growlithe. Next up could be Trainer Gallery. It's not going to be though. It is instead going to be a Delphox. I mean, you know, kind of cool. Um, I don't think I've pulled this Delphox, so I now have an extra rare. Never a bad thing. Are we going to end? Has Santa blessed us today? He's given us a non-hollow Fion. Wow. Thanks, Santa. Okay. Well, that about wraps it up for this vid. Wait a second. You eagle-eyed viewers out there are yelling. <laughs> no, it's not. Look at the runtime of this video. It is significantly longer. If you were to end this here, surely your end credits would be like 10 minutes long. Well, that's because I've decided to treat you guys to even more trading cards. That's right, I have bought this. That's right, unrelated to absolutely anything I've pulled during the imminent Christmas Advent Calendar 2022, I have bought the Digimon Card Game Gift Box 2022. Um, so this year, uh, as opposed to last year, I didn't actually open any Digimon cards. And that's because I didn't particularly plan very far ahead. So, when I saw this at my local game store, I thought, this is perfect, I could open some Digimon cards, and it's a gift box, which kind of sounds, you know, appropriate for the season. So, we're going to take a very quick look at the back, but then we'll open it up. Got some packs, promos, damage counters, and some standees, which got my attention. So that's the front there. It's got Agumon and Gabumon there. But I'm just going to go ahead and open it up because I've been eyeing this up for quite some time now. So we've got everything here. I'm going to take everything out one by one, I think. So we're going to keep this till last. This is the Gift Box 2022 Lucky Pack. It's got one of four promos. I'm going to keep that to the side. Next up, we have another thing that really interested me, which is this acrylic stand. So I'm going to go pull her out of his packaging. All right, so we'll take a quick look at this. So um, this is really interesting, actually. It gives you little, like, play counters. So if you can see here, these uh, stand for different things, kind of like um, blocker, once per turn, decoy, when attacking, on deletion. Now, I've never actually played the Digimon card game. Uh, ten cards in your trash. So, unfortunately, I couldn't tell you much about them, but one of them did fall out, so I'll show you just, like, quickly. They are, like, hard plastic little things. This is the decoy counter. It's really cool, actually. Honestly, if I played this game, I imagine I'd find this incredibly helpful, because uh, much like the Pokemon Elite Trainer boxes, it's cool they just, like, give you stuff. Anyway, there is an acrylic standee, which I'm going to pull out now. All right, so here we go. I've put it on its stand, so it does say there, Vimon and Wormon, and there are the dynamic duo. So I'll quickly show you as well. At the back, there was five different types. So there is Agumon and Gabumon. We've got Vimon and Wormon, obviously. We've got Gilmon and Impmon. And we've got these two dudes that I don't really recognise. Um, 
So my local shop had Gilmon and Impmon and Vimon and Wormon. I was tempted by the Gilmon one, but I do love my boy Wormon. I think Stingmon is like one of the coolest designed uh, champion Digimon. So I thought, ah, I'll get these guys, because you see these on less things than um, the other ones. I mean, if I'm really feeling like a mad lad, I might buy the other gift box, but, you know, we'll see. Anyway, we've got that there. We have these damage counters. I do believe these are the same ones as the 2021 gift box, which, if you remember, I bought last year. They came with the little Digivoice kind of thing, with the... Um, there's very cute kind of icons of Digimon in. And of course, part of the reason I bought this is we've got five packs Draconic Roar, which is EX3. Um, so EX1, I want to say, was the classic collection, or was that EX2? Anyway, we've got five packs, and they'll clear up everything in the background, and we'll get onto these. All right, I've also heightened the camera. So we've got five packs. I don't know what to expect in this set. It is very interesting. It seems to be Adventure 1, 2, and 3. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe more stuff? Let's see. How many cards are there? All right, so there's 74 in total, including two secret rares. Um, the annoying thing with this card game is that there are alt arts as well. There's alternative... Uh, looking versions of the same card and there's no way of really telling what is alt art and what is the regular one because they share the same set number so that is very annoying you can kind of tell because the art is like extra cool but you know anyway I've decimated that pack right well let's begin with a Beedramon it's been a while since I've opened Digimon cards we've got Majiramon so I think some of these are the gods of Adventure 2. We've got Commandramon, very nice. We've got uh, Pelidramon, Pil Pildramon, I guess. We've got Su uh, Sunarizamon, don't recognise that. We've got Shadramon, again, another Digimon. These are definitely getting out of the generation that I really remember. Hey, ex Tyrannomon. okay, I definitely recognise him. Really cool art, actually. We've got Jazzardmon. Okay, don't recognise that one. We've got Plazeomon. I remember Plazeomon. Very cool digi uh, dinosaur Digimon. We've got Dino Beemon. Ah, I think, didn't he appear in the Troy movies, I want to say. Uh, we've got our first, like, hollow Hyper Infinity Cannon. So this is a rare. And next up, there's a chance of getting either another rare or something else. I do believe we've pulled an SR, and that is Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. That is indeed an SR. Very cool. Uh, the Dragon Mode of Imperial Dramon is really cool. I, I like both versions of it, to be honest. Um, oh, I want to say, is it Fighter Mode? Is the is the other kind? I can't remember. Anyway, I opened this pack in the standard way, you know. Uh, which I do dislike doing. I may go grab a scissors actually for the uh, last three packs, but we'll get through this one first. Hey, it's your bar. Oh, that's really nice. I love that illustration of Patamon. Very cute. We've got Chris Palidromon. Chris Palidromon. We've got God Flame. Very cool. We've got Par Parasormon. Okay, that, that is just a dinosaur. Hey, Flame Dramon! Dude, look at that! Oh, that's cool! I love Flame Dramon. I know this is a bit of an edgy kind of design, but... We've got a Megiddo Flame. Very, fair enough. We've got a Flerizamon. Flerizamon. Oh, okay, yeah, I recognise him. We've got a Lavovomon. I think he was in another set. Pomumon. Ah, oh, that's adorable. It looks a bit like Gilmon, doesn't it? Like Baby Gilmon, whatever it's called. We've got a Sorai. Cool. Our first rare is Entmon. Very cool. That is pretty nice, like in the hollow design. Will we pull something crazy? It is Dobikmon. Uh, it is a regular rare, but you know what? I'll take it. 
We've got SR and it was Imperial Drummon, so I ain't complaining. Right, I'm gonna go grab a scissors and stuff and I'll be right back. Alright, three packs left. I've got Old Trusty, which is what I call my scissors. Uh, let me know in the comments what you have named your scissors. Everyone does that, right? It's not just me, right? Right, it's a, it's a normal thing to do. Right, let's begin with a Cyber Drummon. Oh, I recognise him. Okay, next up. Is, hey, Gatomon! Ah, oh, she's tired. Look at her. Just waking up. Or about to go to bed, I guess. Yo, very appropriate for the time of the year. We've got Snow Agumon. There's so many versions of Agumon now. There's like Toy Agumon, Black Agumon, Regular Agumon, uh, Snow Agumon, Hakase Agumon, I think, is the sort of the teacher version. Eardramon. Edramon, fun fact, was my very first ultimate in the Digimon Virtual Pet. Uh, he was cool. Well, we've got another Megiddo Flame, another Flare Rizamon. I think we are going to be hitting some dupes, but definitely not for Gilmon. Look at that boy. If Terriamon is in the set, I'm going to lose my mind. I intentionally don't look up what's in the set before I open them. We've got Kodramon, definitely recognise that guy. We've got a uh, wing, wing Drummon. Yes, that's it, Wing Drummon. Okay. We've got a Volvomon again. First rare is... Ooh. Is going to be Aero V Drummon. That was very difficult to read, actually. And it is it is a rare. It's just very, like, gold, I guess. Oh, well, it's a yellow card, I guess. Or oh, it's, like, white and yellow. Will we pull an S? Oh. Ah! That is adorable. So that is a regular rare, but that is Wormmon. That, I'm incredibly happy with that. As I mentioned, he is one of my favourite. If I could pull a Stingmon, maybe, that would be incredible. But that is, oh, that's cool. Right, I'm just going to adjust my seat quickly. All right, we have two packs left. So, I know Wormmon was just a rare. Now, there's a chance that could have been an alt art. If it was, I'll have put at the bottom of the screen if it was. Unfortunately, I do have to look up if something's an alt art, which is kind of annoying. But we have Crabmon. Very cool. We've got Laser Cannon. Hey, Agumon. Regular Agumon. Very nice. We've got Toropiamon. Okay, don't recognise him. Dark Tyranimon. Hey, is that the yeah? Well, that that's a dupe, isn't it? We've got Volkdramon. I uh, don't think. Yeah, I think that's the first we've seen of that. That's really cool. Hey, Growlmon. Let's go. Okay. Um, Mega Growlmon. Is it War War Growlmon? Sorry, that would. <gasps> Dude, we got Vidramon as well. Okay, this is a great pack. Have we pulled Vmon? I don't think we have. Have we? It's only been three packs. I'm losing my mind. We've got Groundramon. Very cool. First rare is next, actually. We've got Missimon. Miss Missimon, I suppose. It's a missile. I don't recognise that Digimon at all. Alright, our first rare is J Jazarichmon. Okay, definitely don't recognise that Digimon. It's cool as hell, though. That's... That's really cool, actually. It's like a bit of a jet Digimon. And, ooh, we've got a Zulongmon. Dude, oh, that's a rare? That looks way cooler than a rare. That's, that's super cool. Okay. Uh, if any of these cards do happen to be alt darts, I will be putting them at the bottom of the screen for all of them, not just Wormmon. We have one pack left, and then we've got a well, lucky pack. So, uh, a Stingmon, that's what I want. If there's like a Stingmon rare, that would be even sweeter. Um, or, I mean, Wargreymon, everybody loves Wargreymon. So, let's begin with Cyberdramon. Hey, Gatamon again, Sleepy Cat. Snow Agumon again. Okay, we're getting the similar starter pack. Edramon, okay. Crabmon, okay, we're hitting a lot of dupes now. Dr. Animon, <laughs> Folkdramon, 
We've got Cordramon. I think we've pulled him, right? Ooh, War, uh, Wargrolmon. There we go. I did call it last pack. I'd like one. Okay, wow. We've got most of Gilmons now, basically. There's, um... Well, th there is his Mega, which is, uh, Gallantmon. Or, I can't remember his other name, but... Okay, Missimon. The first one is Slayerdramon. Dude. That's some cool artwork. Slayer's really cool. Right, and the final card is Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode. Let's go. Okay, so we've got both versions of Imperial Dramon. I will absolutely take that. Uh, oh, that's a secret. Good lord, that's a secret rare. Okay. Holy crap, what a way to end this video. Wow. That is a secret rare. <laughs> okay, man, there's, there's two in the set, and I've managed to pull one out of five packs. That is pretty nuts. This is definitely worth it. Thank you, uh, Santa, for your blessing on this Christmas day. I think it works like that, right? He's like the deity of good luck. Anyway, the last uh, thing we have is the Gift Box 2022 Lucky Pack. So it's one card... And on the back, we will have a very quick look. So there's We, Garurumon, Agumon, Diaboromon, Us, or Sanzarimon. They're all P, which stands for promo. Out of all of them, um, I don't know. I, I'd quite like We, Garurumon. I'd also love Diaboromon, or Agumon, actually. Sanzarimon is one I don't really recognise. So, I mean, that would be the one I'm least excited for, I guess. But I mean, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm never against getting a promo Digimon card. Good. It does open to the back so we can experience this together and I won't have to, like, hide things. I'm going to pull this out delicately. The pack is not really lowering me. Right. Are we ready? Uh, have a guess at home. I'm going to say where Garurumon. It is Sanzarimon, the one card that I was like, I don't really, you know, know him much. It's cool. Uh, I love that hollow effect, actually. It's like layered hollow. That is, that is very nice. Well, that wraps up Christmas 2022. Thank you guys very much for watching, especially if you stuck around for every uh, Advent card in the episode. I know there was a lot of them. I mean, there's, there's 25 of them by design. But it's been a lot of fun, and I hope uh, you guys have had, uh, you know, opportunity to enjoy. Obviously, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Imminent Tortoise. Uh, I think I'll be putting up one video just before New Year's and one just after, so stay tuned for that if you want to. It has been a pleasure to make videos and stuff. Let me know in the comments what you got for Christmas. I'm, I'm always interested in that because there's such a wide variety of stuff. You might be seeing two of the things I got myself for Christmas very soon because I'll be making a video on them. But until then, go off and eat and drink and be merry and hang out with family or do your own thing or whatever it is you do on Christmas. And I will be seeing you in a few days. So until then, Merry Christmas!